yeah connecting with you and uh, nanda kumar sir let us tell you that how our association at aict goes with him dr nanda kumar sir is the proud recipient of dr vishweshwaraya best teachers award from aict in its inaugural year that is the last year yes so that yes. is the competency that the teacher or sir does possess and this is where i want everybody to draw inspiration from a polytechnic sir is representing and he got recognized at national level every one one of you should be little bit more you know inclined little bit more uh, motivated from within if nanda kumar sir from one of the very corners of the india from polytechnic can get recognition at national level why not me so to answer your question of why not you we have dr nanda kumar sir only right in front of you please put this question to him he is the right man to answer and nanda kumar sir welcome it's it's a pleasure interacting with you it's been a year that you know you were kind of off the radar now that you have come back into the mainstream we will be looking up much larger interaction with you grateful, yes sir grateful, grateful sir that you could come grateful that you could find time to speak to fellow faculty members so without wasting any further time sir i will hand over the platform to you to take this talk further ahead sir thank you thank you so much sir for your uh, introduction and uh, appreciation <laughs> uh the act is doing a great job and great initiative uh really i would like to thank the act chairman and all the officials and especially the director kadal venkat sir for taking such a wonderful initiative and uh, taking in all uh care and uh, concern for uh, development of the technical institutions i am so happy and uh, uh, to share the experiences and uh, the practices which we practiced and uh, got the success stories as myself and uh, the institutions uh, which is marching towards uh, number of awards uh, getting especially the ie institution of engineers in national level for the consecutive four years this is all because of the uh, best practices we what we follow in the polytechnic colleges uh, especially in uh, arasan ganesh and polytechnic college uh, thank you so much sir uh, shall i share my uh, screen sir and to start yes with, yes yes by all means sir you are the presenter also please go ahead go ahead sir okay okay thank you sir thank you so let me share my screen so that uh, we can have a presentation on the best practices one minute sir can you able to see my screen sir very much okay 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 screen is visible yes okay. thank you once again uh, uh, we have a uh, very good uh, number of uh, participants from uh, engineering college and uh, polytechnic college students and staff members so very good afternoon to one and all uh, it's a great pleasure that uh, today i'm going to touch upon the uh, best practices uh, which uh, makes us to stand ahead of other institutions the outline of the webinar which i am going to cover is the industrial revolution and the challenges in technical education what we are facing and how to react and convert all our challenges into opportunities and the scope and the opportunities identified to overcome the challenges so every institution will have a group of uh, uh, higher top level uh, people to discuss and uh, short it out what are all the uh, swat or like uh, what is our strength weakness opportunities and threats accordingly we have our own plan so now the challenges uh, how we can convert that we will see one by one and uh, innovative teaching methodologies so what we have adopted and uh, succeeded in our uh, um, institution that i am going to share it and uh, innovation in industry institute interaction so ultimately the uh, completion of a three year diploma program or four year uh, undergraduate program engineering has to fetch them in very good job where they can shine and endeavor in their career so ultimately we'll have to 
uh, get interacted with the industry and know their uh, requirement. Then only we can match uh, our students uh, with the industry expectation. So that we will be seeing in this uh, webinar. And finally, the outcome of the innovative practices adopted in our uh, Arasanganisan Polytechnic College and uh, many of the colleges, uh, the technical institutions which uh, they follow. Those uh, case studies uh, I'll be discussing uh, in this webinar for another one hour. So I request all the participants, if you have any queries, you can share it in the chat box. And uh, if there is any provision, you can also interact or we can have the interaction at the end of the session so that uh, I would be very happy to answer all your uh, queries. So industrial revolutions and the challenges in technical education, if we take India aspires to become a knowledge economy and recent technical revolutions are from electrified to automated and digitized to manufacturing and big data analytics and autonomous robots, IoT, that is Internet of Things, cyber security and augmented reality, artificial intelligence and mission language and so on. So this all, if you take it me, when I studied in uh, uh, 89 to 93, I have not heard of uh, this uh, augmented reality or uh, AI, artificial intelligence and machine language, IoT itself. But whereas now, these are all the things are going to rule the uh, world. And now itself uh, started uh, picking up in all our day-to-day -day activities. So having the right people in, place in uh, uh, having the right people in right uh, place is critical and challenged today. So that is the one uh, we'll have to focus at the end because whatever the technology development takes place, ultimately the right people ought to be placed in the right place. For that to be as a teachers, we'll have to play a vital role in that. So industrial revolution and challenges in technical education, if you take uh, as a small uh, a survey of uh, according to the US Department of Education, 60% of the new jobs in 21st century will require only 20% of the current workforce. That even we started realizing nowadays because uh, once uh, the uh, corona pandemic uh, situation has arised, we all switched over for the online teaching. People started learning the new uh, platform to teach, and the students also, the learners also. Uh, trained to learn on the online platform as we are doing it today. Uh, the session is online going on. So I am at uh, Sivakasi addressing to the entire uh, country. So no can corner of the country can log in and attend the program. Not only in the country, even abroad also they can log in and they can attend. That is the development of the uh, uh, today's scenario. So according to this uh, need, will have to change. Of course, there are a number of challenges in technical education. Even many substandard engineering colleges have been closed and some more have applied for closure in ACT. And there are no takers for seats and admissions are dropping in uh, their colleges every year. And technical institution was expanding rapidly, which could not be sustained to get jobs for all engineering graduates. Even low employability of engineering graduates, except those from prestigious institutions. The same thing is prevailing in the uh, diploma level also. But still, there are uh, uh, people who need a good engineers for their company. Sometimes we fail to give a good engineers for the industry. That gap has to be mixed or that gap has to be uh, <clears throat> brought into smaller, uh, big, uh, instead of keeping wider, it has to be narrowed down. That only we are going to see it in this uh, today's session. The entire responsibilities of producing job ready and employable technical workforce falls with the government as well as academic institutions and industry participation is also essential to a greater extent. Because all these two, three together only can provide the employability. But all graduates will not get a government jobs. It is not possible. Very few will get into that. And industry need many good skilled people.
to manage and uh, work in the industry. Sometimes we fail to give a right people for the industry. So industry has to be studied and with respect to industry expectation, we we'll have to modify our syllabus and curriculum to match so that they may get a good jobs. So that uh, I will discuss in uh, uh, further slides. And 25% of the total manpower uh, is from uh, diploma level institutions and hence the responsibilities are also equally shouldered by the uh, diploma institutions. So in my case, I would like to focus on the diploma level institutions. What are all the uh, barriers or so-called the challenges we are facing? See the cultural change. In recent days, people are moving to arts and science rather uh, preferring uh, uh, engineering college or diploma studies. They believe that uh, the government uh, jobs are uh, more for the arts and science. But now the engineering college students are competing with the arts and science and they're also getting the government jobs. So slowly the things or uh, the challenges are getting converted into opportunity for the engineering students. And schools are not relieving the students after 10th standard. They keep them for plus one and plus two. So ultimately the intakers for the diploma is getting dropped. And as I said in the earlier, there is a good demand or there is a mouse today nowadays, arts and science rather than the engineering college. So these are all the challenges and barriers which uh, uh, I would like to put forth. And less motivated youth in rural areas to study. Because many of them are uh, preferred to go for a job, especially after this uh, pandemic situation, all are worked in the pandemic situation uh, as a laborers, uh, those who are uh, rural and uh, poor and under poverty. So they used to go for a daily wages as a painter or electrician or mason or fireworks uh, helpers, where they get uh, salary of uh, wages like 400 to 600 uh, depending upon the jobs. This made them not to go for studies because uh, the need is uh, to shoulder their family and uh, once they go for a job, they lose the interest uh, on the education. And poor knowledge from school students, especially from the rural background, they fear to study technical subjects where some English language knowledge and basic mathematics skills are required in the diploma level as well as uh, in graduate level to study the engineering subjects. Whereas in arts and science, they feel it is easy to study and pass and get the certificate and uh, that is one might is also prevailing. These are all the barriers <clears throat> which uh, we are encountering all over the India and uh, I would like to take a case study of uh, our Arasan Ganesan Polytechnic College uh, which has got uh, 40 years of uh, experience and uh, having an intake of uh, 420 students uh, every year. The areas what we have identified after having uh, many uh, brainstorm sessions, uh, we found out that uh, we will focus on two things which will uh, improve our uh, uh, education system. That is one is the teaching methodologies, other one is the industry institute interaction. Because uh, the, now the inputs from the schools are degraded the knowledge is very poor. And the second thing, the intakers, that is the industry. Industry, what is their requirement? We we'll to study and we we'll have to match. So once we focus these two things, we can get success. That is a case study which we have done in our college. So teaching methodologies and institute interaction where innovation actions are needed to address the today's challenges in technical education. So innovations in these two areas can improve technical education's quality to deliver the required skills to the students and make them job ready candidates. This job ready candidates is very, very essential in all <clears throat> technical institutions. So what are all the innovative uh, teaching methodologies we can include is uh, need-based curriculum. If the institution is autonomous, immediately they can uh, add on any curriculum with respect to <clears throat> their uh, local need or uh, industry expectation. 
whereas uh, the institutions which are affiliated to the uh, technical education uh, uh, or directorate of technical education or uh, ACT affiliated institutions may not able to change their curriculum often, but they can add on the courses with respect to industry requirement and need. So then use of multimedia tools. So now after uh, this pandemic, everyone started doing the multimedia tools and uh, started handling the classes online. And use of online education resources. This all we have started experimenting for quite long back, uh, eight, nine years back we started. And well-groomed assessment techniques. So whatever the input we give to the student, it is to be properly assessed. That is the main uh, criteria for the success of the institution. And knowledge updating by faculty members. Unless otherwise the faculty members are updated their knowledge, not only the bookish knowledge, they should also know the industry, uh, what is prevailing and day-to-day uh, uh, -day activities are uh, carried out in, the, in their respective branches. And uh, the state of the art, what is uh, uh, followed in the institution, uh, industries are to be known. Then uh, innovation in the industry institute, interaction. So we'll have to interact with the industries uh, which uh, we have identified a few of the points involving industry experts in curriculum designing. Uh, as I said, if it is an autonomous institution, straight away they can come and give their uh, comments. If it is affiliated to <clears throat> any uh, board of uh, directorate of uh, technical educations, then they can uh, include the add-on courses, like short-term courses they can conduct. For that also, we can invite the industry experts to give the curriculum and guest lectures to students we can invite uh, uh, industry expertise or our alumni who are in the industry for more than five years we can invite them to address the students and implant training to the students we can send our students to implant training and industrial exposure training especially this is uh, we made it as a mandatory for all the polytechnic uh, students to undergo industrial training minimum of 15 days in each semester in the vacation period. So we get a special permission from the industry to accept uh, this industrial training for the students. And consultancy services to industries. When we start interacting with the industry, industry also need a lot of uh, support and help from the institutions. As we have a number of uh, equipments which uh, sometimes the small industries may not have and uh, they can come and get uh, consultancy services from us and we can give uh, expertise in developing their uh, any new project we can support for their uh, R&D etc etc and involving students to solve industry oriented problems even the project works what we give it to the final year students uh, not all the projects uh, each department, at least one or two projects are to be taken from the industry, which uh, uh, the project will support or uh, fulfill the need of the industry. So these are all the activities which we can focus on, innovative industry institute traction. And uh, we have created a teaching through technology, that is TQ forum in our institutions for the functions of the institution, staff members to use innovative teaching methodologies for better teaching learning process. So whatever the innovative teaching methodology we adapt, that has to be recorded and uh, we have a news uh, uh, letter for uh, every 15 days, fortnight we release. That is uh, TQ Tech News, we say, and it will be circulated uh, among our staff members. Uh, to create awareness as well as to motivate others, uh, other uh, staff members to uh, take some more initiatives. So this is uh, one of the wonderful initiative which we can do it uh, for innovative teaching. So this is the format. So we circulate uh, every fortnight among our uh, student, uh, staff members. And we also invite uh, industry to contribute in this uh, innovative teaching methodologies. So those who are uh, signed the uh, memorandum of understanding with our institution, we are also sharing with them. And uh, one more uh, milestone, I can say that uh, innovative teaching methodology is the Microsoft Innovative Educator Certificate. 
so it is a very simple uh, open uh, source uh, that is a microsoft uh, certificate uh, they are uh, giving a recommendation for all the staff members those enroll those who enroll and uh, complete the course <clears throat> in our uh, institution uh, all the uh, teaching faculty members are uh, microsoft innovative educated certified uh, members uh, from usa so it is a very simple technique we can write to them or uh, it can also be arranged for uh, uh, any institutions which uh, if you are interested you can contact me so that i can also make arrangements to get uh, uh, microsoft uh, recognized uh, certificates for the faculty members and we have a separate uh, blog uh, for this uh, <coughs> teaching through technology <coughs> This also helps uh, uh, to share some of the vital information like uh, ours is a rural based uh, institution. We have uh, put up in the down south uh, Sivakasi. Uh, our students uh, communication is very poor and uh, uh, the videos, especially the printing technology, there are a number of uh, videos available in YouTube. All are in their uh, English language or German language. So a few videos uh, we have uh, started converting, giving only the voice in Tamil, in local language, so that the students can easily understand. So that uh, we have uh, created a separate blog for each department to post it. This is one of the innovative things uh, which we are following. And uh, tips for the students to online education. Online education, we are talking only for the past two years, but this has been started uh, eight, nine years back and uh, we have been successfully doing. And links for the online courses available for faculty as well as for the students. There are many, many uh, avenues and opportunities for the faculty members as well as for the students to do online courses without paying anything. It's all free of cost, it is available and uh, they can also get a certifications. So <clears throat> now the AICT is supporting for many uh, MPTL and ATTL, all uh, supports are extended. Apart from that, uh, there are many uh, other agencies, uh, freelance agencies also providing a number of uh, courses that we can enroll and we can update their knowledge. And especially the printing technology, the printing is the uh, minor course. <coughs> There is no textbook, reference textbooks in Indian authors. There are very few books. And if you take the printing technology across the country, there are around uh, 10 to 12 universities are offering UG programs and uh, 35 to 38 uh, institutions only offering diploma, three-year diploma uh, level printing technology courses. So there is no books availability. So, we thought that why don't we create a, uh, resources for three-year diploma program in printing technology, which also can be shared uh, for everyone. So that is the motto of uh, creating the separate uh, website for Department of Printing Technology. And uh, each uh, semester we have uh, seven theory and uh, practical subjects all theory and practical subject uh, <coughs> content uh, <coughs> our faculty members have created and it's all been posted in the website like uh, uh, printing processes or digital printing so once they click it they will get a pdf format uh, content under that uh, we have our digital uh, signatory of agpc uh, just to make our uh, content so that also it's available free of cost and we have a quiz also in that uh, uh, website uh, those who want to appear for a new interviews and they can take up a quiz in three different uh, categories like pre press 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 work and post press work so this uh, will help them to uh, fine tune or uh, to refresh uh, their uh, technical knowledge in the printing and there are uh, more than 3,000 uh, multiple choice questions that we have prepared and uh, it's all been uh, posted and in the uh, printing technology uh, website. 
it's free of cost. Anyone across the country can do it. Uh, the main aim is only to focus in Tamil Nadu for our uh, uh, diploma students to use it. But slowly it started spreading uh, our, uh, across the country. And now uh, even uh, people from abroad, they access our uh, website and uh, even they give their feedback and uh, they started interacting uh, and wanted to share our content and uh, content in their uh, university platforms. So these are all the avenues uh, we started creating. So at the beginning, we thought that it was a great challenge and barrier, and uh, we were not able to get uh, books. So that is the biggest uh, uh, disadvantage we felt at the beginning. But now we have come across, because uh, I've been nominated as a, a syllabus committee convener for uh, a Directorate of Technical Education, Chennai. Uh, this is the fourth time, uh, almost 15 years, uh, I'm the syllabus committee uh, holding. So, slowly we started uh, developing the content, uh, which is uh, almost or uh, sometimes uh, more than the uh, content of the UG program. So, such updations we have made and we have uh, created the resources, the course materials for all the uh, students to access. So, this is uh, very helpful for the faculty members to teach as well as for the students to learn. So, that's a wonderful success story I want to share. And then we are uh, conducting an online quiz program for all our students. It's all uh, started in 2013-14 and uh, we are continuing. And other activities of uh, TQ Forum is uh, guest lectures on uh, innovation in teaching through technology. So we invite uh, engineering college uh, faculty members to share and uh, industry uh, people to come and share their uh, innovative teaching through technology and usage of Google Forms and use of uh, Khan Academy for mathematics and science teachers and creation of uh, short videos and demonstration of technical topics that uh, we are taking an immense care in every department uh, uh, can create at least uh, one video for that subject uh, in fortnight so uh, six branches means at least six videos they can prepare so that will be helpful for the students and guiding and mentoring the students for doing innovative projects so uh, project innovation, the ACT is increasing like anything and uh, they are giving a lot of uh, uh, funds and as well as uh, they are recognizing the uh, good projects and uh, uh, really it's a wonderful opportunity for all the institutions to uh, take up uh, many innovative projects and online technical test for the students. So this is uh, one aspect of uh, innovative strategies for students in uh, participating in uh, technical events. So many uh, colleges are conducting uh, uh, technical events like uh, paper presentation competition or project uh, uh, display competition or idea competitions or art and cultural competitions or peace competitions. We Constantly, we are encouraging our students to take part in it, and uh, there is a separate wing called uh, uh, Institution of Engineers a Student Chapter. They educate the students and they motivate the students, and they even uh, uh, assist them to prepare uh, some of the slides, uh, how the slides are to be prepared and to be presented, uh, so that uh, uh, it will be presentable manner to interest the judges. So these activities all been uh, carried out under the TQ, that is teaching through technology. So because of that effort, because we have uh, taken so many efforts from 2009 onwards, slowly it started picking up. The students are uh, getting a number of uh, prizes, not only in India, even uh, not only in Tamil Nadu, even in India. Even students are participating in Manipal, that is Manipal Institute of Technology, there is a printing technology course, or students participate and get a, a championship in overall uh, national level. So this all started happening after this uh, induction of uh, teaching through technology and our new initiatives and change in teaching methodologies. 
So if you take the statistics, uh, the number of guest lectures uh, every year uh, we started increasing and uh, motivating seminars uh, we started conducting and transfer of technology program. This is a, uh, uh, if any one of the faculty attends a one week program or 15 days, two weeks program. After attending, they have to come back and uh, they have to deliver or they have to transfer the technology what they have uh, learned the two weeks program in a nutshell for half a day or two hours or one, one session. So that makes them to refresh as well as uh, they will share their knowledge with the uh, uh, existing staff members. So in that way, we also uh, conduct a number of transfer programs. The students started getting number of prizes, winners in competitions. So every year students are receiving cash prize around 50,000 rupees and recognition for the institution is uh, uh, highlighted. So that's a wonderful uh, success story I would like to put forth uh, in this uh, audience. And the efforts taken outcome. Uh, say for example, uh, we got a national level second place uh, with 20,000 in uh, National Innovation Talent Contest for Polytechnics held at uh, National Institute of uh, Technical Teachers Training and Research, that is NITT Kolkata in 2019. So these are all the success stories. And uh, another success story is the national level best polytechnic award has been given to Arasan Ganesan Polytechnic College consecutively for the past four years, that is 16, 17, 17, 18, 18, 19, and 1920. So it's a hat trick when we got it in 18, 19, consecutively three years, and followed by the fourth time also we got it. This all because of this uh, innovative teaching methodologies, which is we started following for the past eight, nine years. That is the outcome. And next, uh, portion of the thing is the innovation in industry institute interaction. The reason is whatever the methodologies, teaching methodologies we change and uh, we deliver and we train our students. Ultimately, they have to get a, they have to get a uh, placement. The placement is not meager uh, salary. It should be uh, attractive salary and they should uh, satisfy. For that, uh, we started, why don't we uh, make a memorandum of understanding signing with uh, industries. So within a span of three years, we started that uh, mission and uh, uh, 23 MOUs we signed in 2016-17 itself. And then we started uh, sustaining those uh, MOUs because that MOUs, we have established two laboratories sponsored by the industries. One is the Sun Focusing Private Limited Singapore for uh, uh, non destructive testing and training center in 2016 with uh, 4 lakhs contribution from the industry. And we have a NTT training center for our mechanical students. It's been uh, utilized by them. Because of this uh, NTT training, we are getting many number of uh, job avenues from the industry and another project is the record digital color and black and white missions sponsored by the rico japan uh, worth of 40 lakhs to the printing technology department so it's a really wonderful and uh, great opportunity for the printing department to have uh, a state of the heart technology so whatever the designs they make it, immediately they can take a color printout and they can view it and they can convert the uh, printout into a very attractive uh, packaging designs. So it's all advantages of interacting with the industry. And uh, we started uh, offering some consultancy services for the civil department, especially surveying and material testing and concrete mix uh, design for construction companies and government departments, uh, we do a number of uh, testing. And uh, some of the industries also regularly, they are coming and uh, uh, getting uh, getting our services uh, like Aras and Aluminium Industries, Sabakasi, 
MS Elite Electronic and uh, Equipments, uh, Madurai and Sendil Plastics, uh, Virudhanagar. These are all uh, people come and uh, uh, utilize our uh, uh, facilities and uh, we do consultancy services for them. And uh, we also have an interaction with uh, industries, making a visit to industry. So industrial visit is one of the uh, vital thing we feel in uh, Arasanganisan Polytechnic College because once we visit a uh, industry, we will come to know that what is their uh, industrial environment, what they expect, the technology, what is uh, they are adapting. So if you take this, is a uh, ITC limited Chennai, Tiruchur. So when we had been there, we could able to see our uh, alumni, the old students. Uh, uh they're working and they also expressed uh, uh, how the current students have to prepare and get into the itc so they give uh, tips and uh, the current technology what they are adopting uh, they are starting sharing and for the past two years uh, many of the students uh, they started uh, giving webinar through online uh, to educate our students and to update the knowledge of the faculty members also. And uh, one more thing is the institute conducted various training program for the industry. As we started uh, signing a memorandum of, uh, memorandum of understanding with the industries, they come forward to train the newly recruited uh, faculty members, uh, even some uh, workers are uh, very good skilled but basics uh, they don't know or uh, they lack in uh, the fundamental of why they are operating so what them and all uh, we have uh, started giving uh, one week to 30 days training program at our institution as well as uh, a few training program we have extended into the their premises industry we went to industry and we have extended so cops and printers Samatur and wipro you know, technology Silogasi, Tribology Finance, Sivagasi, and Cell Jagat Sivagasi, and Fan Tech Pro Limited, Terminal Baby. So, uh, these are all the companies whom we have extended our services. And ultimately, we should get some returns or there should be some outcomes. So, the outcomes uh, which I have uh, mentioned for the past uh, six, seven years for your ready right now, the courses are amended. I mean, by involving the industries, we have uh, started uh, introducing the n number of courses. In 14, 15, 11 courses, 15, 16, 15 courses, 16, 17, 14, 17, 18, 13 courses, 18, 19, 113 courses. As well as number of industries visits for our students. So previously, we get a very difficulty from the industry for our students to visit but now uh, they invite and uh, uh, they give a lecture at their site or sometimes they come and give the lecture uh, here at the college and we also give a prior uh, briefing about the industry before they visit so that once they go into the uh, industry uh, they can identify easily whatever uh, we briefed well in advance, a day before or a week before. And uh, we also share their websites so that uh, the students can log in and uh, they study about the industry before they make a visit. So that they help the students to learn faster and better and easy way also. And the uh, number of uh, guest lectures, if you take year by year, it is uh, started increasing. Uh, only for the past two years due to the corona, the online uh, uh, guest lectures uh, we have organized very few and uh, plant training uh, slowly it started increasing only for the past two years uh, due to the corona it was not uh, uh, extended and we have been recognized by the SIP that is the SEED Society for Technical and Entrepreneurship Development uh, it's been uh, awarded uh, for our uh, best interaction with the industry so sustainable industry institute partnership award uh, we got it in 2015 as well as in 2017 so these are all the recognition uh, we get and uh, 
the institute is uh, well recognized and the local people started uh, recognizing the institution this increases our input so the admissions uh, we get better admission when we compare with other institutions so these are all the kind of a, uh, you can take it as a promotional or uh, it's a kind of a service what we extend for the students and we get 100% satisfaction by uh, doing our work. So when students are placed with a handsome salary, that really keeps us uh, happy. So another thing is 100% uh, placement uh, uh, we started giving for the past few years, not only in uh, India, but we want to extend our services to the abroad also. Then we started identifying some of the foreign companies where they need uh, fresh diploma holders for their industry. But we need to have uh, some prior training or special training to be given for the students. So we started conducting a, a career guidance program and training for online test because some of the industries like uh, Emirate Printing Press Dubai uh, before they come for a campus interview, they conduct an online test. Once they pass or clear the online test, then only the students will be identified to appear the personal interview once they come down to India. So we provide the training and soft skill training by Mahindra Pride School and Mahindra Pride Classroom for six complete days. Because uh, when they are uh, going abroad, uh, aging our students when they join in 16 years when they pass out uh, with 18 to 19 years still they are a uh, teen and uh, they have to manage how to travel and uh, how to face the uh, world so we give you a soft skill training six complete days so that uh, really helps them to get a upload placement and they will be groomed well how to behave and uh, how to keep up their punctuality and how to manage their time and how to impress the interviewer and how to crack the uh, interviews and uh, we conduct uh, mock interviews. These are all the activities we started implementing uh, uh, the best practices uh, only we have identified like mock interviews by internal faculties and the interview by HR managers and alumni members. So first we will have a faculty uh, members with the uh, mock interview. Then uh, we invite uh, real HRs from industries to support. And our alumni are always uh, very supportive. And uh, anytime uh, they come and uh, uh, do any kind of uh, work, uh, what we require from them. And we have a alumni chapter in Chennai, uh, named as uh, Alam Muludigal. Uh, every year they are conducting the um, get together and uh, we also get interacted and we have been invited to participate in their uh, get together and we get a lot of inputs from them and uh, 25 to 30 percent of the placements we get it through our alumni and uh, many students those who are uh, well settled uh, in abroad as well as in big industries they act as ambassadors for our institution so the industries come forward to conduct uh, interviews at our Polytechnic College. Though the institution is uh, situated in down south, the Sivakasi, people travel all the way from Abu Dhabi, Dubai, Kuwait, and they conduct an interview at our college and they recruit the students from our college. And workshop on communication skills. That is the one major uh, drawback with our uh, rural people students communication they lack even sometimes in local language also because due to their uh, lack of confidence and inferiority complex they are not able to communicate so we have a special workshops for them to motivate and to encourage them to develop their communication skill not at the final year from the first year itself so that uh, uh, the entry and uh, exit, entry behavior and ex exit behavior, there will be drastical change in their behaviors. And uh, interacting with the alumni in abroad through Skype online. Every Friday, we have a Skype online classes for the uh, few branch students. 
so in rotation every friday it's a holiday in dubai and some arab countries so the students uh, uh, handle the online class uh, or they share their experience uh, through skype now we are slowly switching over to zoom or uh, uh, and motivation lectures by experts and the special passport campaign so those who want to travel abroad they need to have a passport so we conduct some uh, passport campaigns special campaigns at our college and counseling to the students and parents because once they get a placement in abroad they must uh, go so sometimes it is very much required for the parents also to be uh, counseled and convinced so it's been uh, done successfully and entrepreneurship development training programs we are conducting and industrial visits and plant training and cross major process we are conducting say for example the electrical engineer uh, electrical and electronic students as well as mechanical engineering students will take up a uh, printing technology courses like offset printing operator or uh, a gravier mission operator or uh, uh, pre-press uh, technician these courses they take up so once they complete these courses they get a job in abroad say for example abroad placement so far we have provided 187 uh, placements we have provided for the past uh, seven years so slowly the placements are increasing in 14 15 it was uh, only 16 but if you take it in 2021, it has uh, raised up to 53 students. So around uh, we have uh, uh, 350 students out of which uh, 53 students uh, got placement. Though it all happened, I mean, 19, 20, 20, 21 and all, these two years, it was a pandemic situation. But over and above, we could able to achieve. So this all because of the uh industry institute interaction and innovative teaching methodologies what we adopted in our institution and uh, ultimately the outcome the challenges what we faced was lack of interest in students that is the major issue in the polytechnic education and even now in engineering colleges also the students are not uh, having passion towards uh, their engineering and poor academic inputs in schools that to this uh, past two years uh, they didn't write uh, uh, eight and nine and uh, straight away all ten or uh, all pass and they are coming and if you take plus two students uh, uh, plus two they have not uh, written and uh, the results are uh, given based on the plus one mark and tenth mark so these uh, inputs are very poor uh, uh, academic performing students that really declines the admission but due to this best practices the innovative teaching methodologies and industry institute interactions we got a better placements and improved economic status and enhanced morality of the citizens interested in learning new technologies say for example the students those who are in final year if they want to get a abroad placement they have to update their knowledge they must go for an industry as a implant training or industrial exposure or they should uh, do some innovative projects so unless otherwise uh, they complete these all uh, basic uh, requirements they may not uh, able to get selected in the abroad place so that really uh, increased the learning uh, as well as interest towards studies and adopting DIY, that is do it yourself. That concept we make it in uh, Polytechnic as a compulsory and improved knowledge base. So basics, uh, we want to make it very, very, very strong. So once they are strong in the basics, when they go into the industry, different industry will have uh, different technology. If you take in printing, gravure, if you take uh, it's a wider uh, uh, advancement in gravure printing technology if you take offset printing technology it's a uh, uh, dry offset and the web offset the shifted offset there are uh, wider uh, developments and if you take uh, screen printing textile printing and uh, um, <clears throat> electronic chip printing there are many many avenues of there so once they are strong in basic 
they can easily get adapted to learn the new technologies what the industry is doing and uh, lifelong learning we teach them to learn because now the industry need the people those who are interest towards learning or if they teach they must be adapted to learn so if they are ready to learn we will recruit that is the concept uh, the industry now having and uh, we'll have to tune our students for uh, lifelong learning so that uh, they can easily get uh, adapted or placed in the industries and team participation this all we can get it done by uh, project works and uh, when we and do it in the laboratory works we make them to do it as a team participation and confident personality that also we instill and uh, we insist uh, among our students and the active contributors in the society like uh, nss in ncc some social activities we make them to involve and innovative and enterprising so whatever the project they do they have to think and come out they should not copy anything so for that also we encourage and uh, now students are uh, um, better after uh, implementing this uh, two aspects and enhanced admission ultimately this uh, adds up uh, value for the institution uh, that is the thing which uh, we could able to exist with the uh, top ranking 10 institutions in tamil nadu uh, admissions are very good due to the uh, good placements and uh, uh, good education what we practice in our institution so these are all the case studies i would like to uh, present it and uh, uh, two more avenues for innovative teaching methodologies and industry institute interactions these two have identified as an immediate focus and to essential to meet out the challenges in technical education and at the end i would like to say uh, or viswaswaraya's word like uh, remember you work maybe only to sweep a railway crossing but it is your duty to keep it so clean that no other crossing in the world is as clean as yours so whatever we do we do with uh, uh, best of what we want to do it and we also expect our students to give their best so uh, with this with this uh, i would like to conclude and uh, invite uh, if there is any questions from the audience i would be very happy to answer Hello, madam. Hello, sir. Is there any questions from the audience? Sir, any questions, sir? Chat box. Hello. Any questions, sir? Hello.
Hello, uh, sir, I have completed, sir. Is there any questions I would be happy to answer, sir? Hello. 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 Yes, there is a, one question from the participant stating, is there any assessment test? Say, for example, we have our own uh, assessment uh, in Google form we have created. Especially for every each and every program, once we complete, uh, we give you a, a Google forms. Say, for example, the six days uh, training program on soft skill training. Once it is completed, we create a 50 set of questions uh relevant to the topics to ensure what depth they have uh, learned and uh, what are all the topics that they have uh, 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 more attractive for them and what are all the aspects they are going to implement in their day-to-day uh, -day activities so these are all the questions uh, we uh, frame in a google form and we circulate it so that is the one of the assessment we make it because every program is different so we create a google form in consultation with all the faculty members say for example in all hods and uh, this is the department coordinators sit together uh, we will create a google form and based on the google form uh, the students responses we assess that really gives a good input for us to do any betterment or change in uh, our programs. I hope uh, I have uh, answered uh, the question. Yeah. Is there any other questions? Baba Shaheb uh, Chafakar, sir. Yes. Sir, I hope I have answered. Or uh, you can also very well contact me for any further uh, uh, assistance or uh, guidance uh, from me, sir. I will also share my mobile number as well as my email ID in a chat box so that uh, you can interact with me. So right now I am uh, sharing my mobile number.
yes sir of course uh, there is a innovative practices you can uh, very well use it for your nac even nac people will be very happy to uh, see all our uh, innovative teaching methodologies and uh, whatever the new initiatives we are taking especially the nac team uh, they assess apart from the regular curriculum apart from the regular activities what all the activities we carry out they will be very particular about it and uh, they will be uh, appreciating that so for nac committee this would be very very useful phone number sir yeah i'll be sharing the <laughs> sharing my phone number or please note down uh, my mobile number 948 6 I'll repeat once again, 948-666-7293. I'm Dr. Nanda Kumar. Yes, somebody asked my phone number. My chat is not properly. Yeah, it was, uh, I mean, uh, thank you for your uh, wonderful feedback. Uh, at the beginning, it was a uh, little difficult uh, for us to go with the innovative teaching methodologies and best practices which I have addressed. But slowly, by interacting with each and every industry, personal visits and through phones, uh, the memorandum of understanding, MOU signing, uh, we started picking up, uh, I mean, first two, three years, it was very, very tough. But at one particular point, it started picking and uh, we got around uh, 27, 28 uh, uh, MOU we have signed. Due to this uh, pandemic uh, situation, two years, few MOUs are uh, expired. And uh, now we again started uh, initiating and uh, improving upon. So this MOUs really helps us to uh, get good placements and implant training as well as for industrial training for our students. So for all these three, uh, we need our uh, alumni support. So we can uh, uh, keep a track of alumni so that uh, it will be very useful for uh, 
creating a good interaction with the industries. Right, ma'am? I think uh, I almost answered all their uh, questions. Thank you so much, uh, uh, ma'am, and uh, thank you so much, uh, AACT, for uh, giving me such a wonderful opportunity. Can you explain about the newsletter? Yeah, it's an internal circulation. We are uh, having a QQ uh, newsletter, as well as we have an institution newsletter also. We have a private circulation that is among only our, our staff members. If you want, I can uh, also share it to you. And you can visit our website, our college website. You can uh, find all our newsletters. I will also share my college website. So the website which I have shared, there you can see all our uh, newsletter. And TQ uh, newsletter also you can uh, find out in our uh, website. Possible, I will share it. Share Could you explain about that? See, the newsletter is uh, about uh, the activities, uh, what is being conducted in our institution. So we have uh, two types of uh, newsletters. One is the our institution newsletter. Every six months uh, we publish. And we include all the activities and all the awards and rewards what we have uh, achieved by our faculty members as well as for the uh, students. So that is one kind of a newsletter. And we have another newsletter that is a QQ, that is teaching through technologies. So that is a fortnight newsletter. Just we circulate among our faculty members just to motivate and uh, to initiate that this department is uh, started doing this kind of a innovative teaching methodology so that they will have an idea to continue or to make it uh, something different from what they do other departments. So these two newsletters, you can find it in our website. That is www.arasanganesanpoly.org that I have already shared in the chat box. I hope Setu uh, Narayanan. I hope uh, Mr. Setu Narayanan would have got uh, all the details. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Seth Narayanan, sir, for your response. Any other questions? Shall we close the session? Yes, ma'am. We can close the session. Once again, thank you uh, very much for all the participants for your uh, patient listening. And uh, thank you, uh, ACT, for uh, giving me such a wonderful opportunity to share my experience and my little knowledge with all the participants. Thank you. Thank you so much. We will close, ma'am.